So January the 18th, 2025, Tommy Fury returns and he's taken on Darren Till. Watch this video. Hello, welcome to Omni Edson. I hope you're all well. So I'm away from the studio just now. And uh, I just thought I'd bring you this video because it's been announced. Tommy Fury has returned to the ring after his last fight a few months ago against KSI whom he beat. He also beat Jake Paul before that, so he's uh, two for two in the Misfits world. He is the king of Misfits, if you want. No, but now he's taken on Darren Till. Uh, Darren Till, who, who basically came out of the UFC. He was dropped by the UFC. And then he tried to get into the boxing world. He had an odd fight in... Uh, it was in Dubai, somewhere like that, where he took on this opponent. It was a, it was a bit of a, a low-rent affair, but he took on this opponent. He beat him in the ring, but then it all kicked off after, and then the guy wanted to go again. I mean, it was just absurd, really. Uh, but anyway, listen, Darren Till, great, great fighter, but is he a good boxer? Now, he's been training for the last three or four years, I believe with the Smith brothers in, in uh, Liverpool as well. And by all accounts, you know, it's pretty decent. And, and what little I've seen of him, he seems to be not too bad, actually, not too bad. He's certainly not at a, any kind of pro level, I would say. But certainly at this level, I would say, yeah, not bad at all, not bad at all. So for Misfits, this is a bit of an odd fight. You've got Tommy Fury, who is trying to stay in this Misfits world, this influencer world. But he's going to be pushed into this kind of pro division of Misfits because that's the only division he can really go into because he is trained as a professional boxer. Then you've got Darren Till, who's coming off the UFC, of course. And then you've got to wonder, well, where is he going to go? He's not exactly an influencer, is he? He's not exactly one for the internet. Now, the, the thing is with Darren Till, this is the impression I got of him. Ever since he got dropped from the UFC, he's been trying to find a home. He's been trying to find a place to get a fight or get any kinds of fight, in, in whatever kind of style of fighting it is. He settled on boxing, but he's been, he, he even said very recently that it's so difficult in trying to get a fight. And he's not alone. There's so many boxers, so many pro boxers out there who find it really difficult to get a fight. Yes, we're all talking about uh, Saudi money and Turkey Al Sheikh right now and how it's revolutionized boxing. But it, for the most boxers out there, it's still hard to get a fight. This is why, you know, more and more uh, promoters need to get on the case and put on more and more shows, not just rely on these massive events. So there are the smaller uh, promoters out there, like GMB, for example, who are getting uh, quite, quite decent as well, quite big. They're putting on shows all over the place. But it's always got to have a return for it. But say, fighters can't get fights. So Darren Till, he's been turning up at these sort of misfitty type events recently, these influencer events the last few months. And he's, you know, going head to head with Mike Perry and, you know, calling out the likes of Jake Paul. Because what's happening is a lot of these boxers, pro boxers as well, they can see they're not getting fights. And they're going to call out the likes of Jake Paul and other people like that just to get a payday. They want to get paid because they know their skills are so much better and they're, they're easily going to chin whoever it is, like Jake Paul or KSI, and they just want to they just want to get the money. But the problem is they're not getting those uh, fights because they haven't got a name, they haven't got a brand. That's what they don't fully uh, understand. The likes of Jake Paul is only going to fight them if they're a big name. So the likes of Tommy Fury, who isn't really a big name, he's only a big name because of, you know, who he was married to. Uh, and uh, obviously that's all fallen apart now, I believe. But uh, irrespective of that, he's, he's fought KSI and Jake Paul. So in the influencer world, in this sort of space, they know who he is. They know who he is. So it's not really a factor. The problem is that he's not really a massive name that's going to want to draw lots of eyes into it. And is it going to pay for itself? Will this event pay for itself? Because it's a pay-per-view event. Now, who's going to be paying for this fight? Well, it's going to be fans of the influencers, the, the misfits, right? So are they really going to be after or fans of Tommy Fury? I doubt it. Are they going to be fans of Darren Seal? Well, probably most, I would say, who are going to be eyes on this might not have even heard of Darren Seal or don't really know who he is. The second thing of this is how many pay-per-views are they actually going to sell and will it cover the costs of the event? I'm not even sure this is going to, you know, pay for itself. 
No, it's, it's an interesting contest. And I think, you know, certainly from Misfits last time out, they put on a pro mini tournament out there. And that was okay. That was, you know, that was decent enough. But for this, this is kind of their first time saying, right, okay, we're going to put a pro boxer in against a pro fighter. Granted the levels, we can't really talk about the levels, but at least, at least you're going to get two at it, going at it. Liverpool versus Manchester, they're already sort of talking about it in those terms. It's great rivalry, great uh, great boxing backgrounds, fighting backgrounds, going up against each other. It'd be very interesting to see how this pans out. And out of all this whole YouTuber world, influencer boxing world, this is the one that piques my interest, mainly because I know what Tommy Fury is. He is still a novice boxer. But Darren Till, Darren Till comes in and brings it a lot of credibility. So if you're going to watch one of these kind of fights, actually, this might not be a bad one to watch. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here, we'll just keep on watching the videos. And hopefully I'll be back in the studio after I've recorded this set of uh, videos right now. Catch you again. Bye now.